Hello everybody, it's the Game Judge here, and today I want to talk to you guys about a recent leak by a developer for the Dragon Age Dreadwolf. Now if we take a look at his LinkedIn profile, we can see that he's a senior cinematic animator for EA 2016 of September to present, so seven years and three months. And if we scroll down, we can see here on the animated gameplay characters using mocap and hand keyed animations for Dragon Age Dreadwolf. 2024. Now as more and more news started to come out about this potential leak for a release date for Dragon Age Dreadwolf, he changed his profile to TBD, which is a good indicator that this was probably an accidental leak by this developer. This is further supported by a credible game reporter Jeff Grubb on an episode of his show Grubb Game Mess Mornings, where he mentions Dragon Age Dreadwolf release being summer 2024 at the earliest, with potential to be pushed back even later. Dragon Age could have come out this year. In fact, internally at one point, the date that they were looking at was next month, September 2023. Uh, but internally, Dragon Age 4 keeps getting pushed back. Uh, they moved the internal expectations to March 2024 a while ago. March 2024, okay. pretty pretty soon, right? Well, guess what? That's it's not, very close. It's not coming out then either. They pushed it back again. It is not coming out until summer 2024 at the earliest at this point. Something to note here is Jeff Grubb does have a good reputation for predicting things accurately in the gaming world. I mean, kind of see this if we take a look at his rap sheet here. And you can see he predicted Pikeman 3 Deluxe. He confirmed its existence and rough release date. Super Mario 3D All-Stars confirmed on Twitter. Starfield is an Xbox and PC exclusive, so I do consider him to be somewhat of a reliable source due to his correct predictions in the past. So needless to say, with Dragon Age Dreadwolf developers' supposed accidental leak of the 2024 date and Jeff Grubb, a credible game reporter's prediction of a summer 2024 date as a release date, a strong case can be made that 2024 will indeed be the release date for Dragon Age Dreadwolf. Now we also have even more evidence to support these release dates as we can look at EA's 2024 financial report. So this financial report by EA gives us even more evidence to align with what we talked about above to give us a good idea of a release date for Dragon Age Dreadwolf. Now at the time this report came out, everyone thought that Dragon Age Dreadwolf was going to come out in 2023 and a lot of people were disappointed. Wait a minute. This isn't my world. Disappointed! At the time, because it had been so long since a previous Dragon Age game had came out. So if we take a look at this report here, we can see that these release games and their dates, and Dragon Age Dreadwolf is not on this report. So that means it's not coming out by March 2024. So that gives us about a nine month window of April 2024 to December 2024. Now I will say I wouldn't be surprised if it was released in this time window, but I also wouldn't be surprised if it was pushed back even further, especially considering all the turmoil that's been going on in Bioware lately. And this is evident if we look at Bioware's past release cycles and how they were putting out Mass Effect and Dragon Age games a lot more consistently. Now if we take a look at Bioware's release date cycles in the past, we can see there's generally around two to three years in between games. And when I say that, I mean between like Dragon Age to Mass Effect to Dragon Age and so on. So with Dragon Age, we can see Origins. There was three years prior, there was Jade Empire, and then we had Dragon Age 2, and then we had Dragon Age Inquisition. So that means that the last Dragon Age game that released was Dragon Age Inquisition in 2014, and it's already been nine years. I mean, I think the last new game they released was Anthem, and that was in 2019. And this longer delay in games being released has a lot to do with eternal conflict in Bioware. They recently laid off 50 developers back in August 2023, including one of the most popular longtime writers, Mary Kirby, who wrote characters such as Varric, who I loved and thought was well written. She's not interested, but Bianca here is a sucker for drunk, dumb, and ugly. The response to this was just your typical corporate bullshit talk. This was according to an article by Games Radar and in an interview with the new GM of Bioware, Gary McKay. After much consideration and careful planning, we have built a long-term vision that will preserve the health of the studio and better enable us to do what we do best. Create exceptional story-driven single-player experiences filled with vast worlds and rich characters. This vision balances the current needs of the studio, namely ensuring Dragon Age Dreadwolf is an outstanding game with its future, including the success of the next Mass Effect. Yeah, you're laying people off for the long-term vision and health of the studio. Right. What I also find interesting is this guy that they hired to be the manager, Gary McKay, doesn't really have a, a resume that gives me a lot of hope. 
If we take a look at his resume here, you can see he's Vice President of General Manager, Bioware Studio, Austin and Edmonton. And then it says kind of briefly here, for over 20 years, I've been leading different studios and development teams in the video game industry. But if, if you scroll down, there's not really anything in his experience that makes me feel like this guy is the person to lead this team. I mean, before Bioware, we see that he was the senior general manager for Navigator Games um, and that he started the studio uh, and the development and the live operations of a mobile game. That's not encouraging. And then if you look down here, you can see he did Legacy of the Beast. And I looked this game up and I wasn't too impressed personally. And then here, executive producer, Gree Canada, uh, helped build a new studio responsible for people, da 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 da. Now, I understand some people are going to say, oh, he's just a manager and he's just responsible for managing things. Now, to some extent, that might be true. But at the same time, if you're leading this studio that's creating an RPG, I would like to see more of a background where you're leading these types of studios and not like studios that do mobile gaming. Or I think also I saw in here for worked with for FIFA or something like that. I wouldn't want that type of person to be running an RPG studio. Personally, I do think it has an effect on how things can be ran. And then to top it all off, those former Bioware developers that Bioware laid off are now suing Bioware for a low severage package. And this is according to a Games Radar article. It reads, In a statement shared by former Bioware technical director John Ranesh, the group alleges the severance package offered by Bioware was significantly less than the standard set by the Alberta courts. The group says it's refusing to accept Bioware's severance and requesting punitive damages. While we remain supportive of the game we work so hard on and of our colleagues continuing that work, we are struggling to understand why Bioware is shortchanging us in this challenging time. Honestly, to me, it just sounds like the developers were used and abused by EA and Bioware. They got what they wanted out of them in the development process and then they just canned him afterwards. And then to add insult to injury, they didn't even give him proper pay. Disgusting EA Bioware. On top of all this, the crunch time abuse and bad working conditions that Bioware developers had to work under in the past. I won't talk too much about this particular area, as I did a video a while back called EA Scaling Bioware, where I go more in depth about the things that were going on in this regard. I'll link that in the video. So with all this doom and gloom, one thing I will say that is good about Bioware is they did rehire Mike Dara back in 2023. He was a senior Bioware developer who had worked at Bioware for a long time prior. He had resigned in 2020 not long after the disastrous live service game attempt by EA, Anthem. Maybe this will help somewhat, but who knows, so to be honest with you guys, it does seem like we have a legitimate time frame for Bioware Dragon Age Dreadwolves releasing in summer 2024 but don't be surprised if it's pushed back even further. Bioware eternally has been a mess now, and it has been for quite some time. I have little faith and low expectations for anything that Bioware is going to come up with these days. Shame on you, EA Bioware. Do better. But hey, at least we have a release date, right? I'm curious to see what you guys think. Do you guys think that Bioware EA will end up delaying the game even further? Or do you think with this information that we have that the release date is pretty accurate? Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one.